Howdy, my friends, and welcome back to more Let's Play Gran Turismo. This is Sky Hurricane 89, and hope you're having a very great day. And in the last part, we did the Mega Speed Cup with our Toyota Super RZ. As you see, there is very highly tuned up, all the way up to the max. And uh, we want us an Aston Martin DB7 Coupe, which we will use in the future. And and uh, we're actually going to do something a little bit different than what I was intending to do. I did say I might uh, do a little farming um, to do that. Though I'm going to buy me a TBR Griffith and I'm going to do the normal car championship. And then I'm also going to buy a Dodge Viper and redo it after I've done done it the first time with the Griffith. And I'm just going to show you how great these cars really are because I don't know how how uh, many times I'll be sh you know, showing these cars through the LP. But this will be a great way to show off this car's performance. And then, uh, and then I'll probably use one of them later on, one or the other later on in a tuned fashion, tuned to the max, to show it off that way. So uh, we're going to buy us a Griffith 4.0 here, and uh, and I'm, a I'm actually going to show off Autumn Ring Mini, Grand Valley East, and then Special Strides Route 11 with the Griffith. I'll show all three of those races in the entirety. And then I'll go back and uh, do it with the Viper, but I'm only going to show um, Club Mid Stage Route 5 and Deep Force, and then the end of Special Stage Route 11. So, uh, so you'll get to pretty much get a general idea of how things went. So, let's do this. All right, you can see your see our entry list here with the Griffith, and uh, we have a TRD 3000 GT, which is actually one of the cars you can win from the license test. I believe the A license test. If you get all golds, and uh, we don't have the Subaru in prison, so pretty much otherwise the same as last time. So I'm gonna qualify. I'm probably gonna try to qualify on all these. All righty, so let's see how we did. I feel pretty confident about it. Oh man, we barely won though. <laughs> I may not do all the qualifying, and even if I did, it'd be off screen. But uh, because uh, it just takes extra time. But it is pretty good money if you can get it. Say like ten thousand there, so that is pretty nice. But I probably won't do it for the longer tracks anyway, like especially stage route eleven. But uh, let's do this race here and see how it goes. We should be able to get proper revenge against the NSX. Even though we did beat it with the RX-7, we did win this. You saw we had the choke. Oh yeah, you have a little faster start, man. That NSX really is a very good car, man. Very good, I gotta say. Unfortunately, I probably will not be showing it off, except in arcade mode. I'll show it off there. And by the way, I kind of figured out this project will probably be around 25, 26 parts long, somewhere around there. Uh, because the, the simulation mode is going to be probably around 20, 21 parts. It might be 27 or 28 parts. This sucker's actually beating me. I'm not doing very well with this Griffith. Actually, do better with the RX-7. What's going on here? I'm not really focusing that well. PRB 3000 GT. What do you think we're doing? <laughs> but uh, there's something else I was gonna say that I forgot. Uh, pretty much this will consist of this whole video, so this is just kind of like an extra little fluff video. I mean, I'm sorry if that disappoints some of you. They were really not gaining much progress in this part, but uh, I consider this progress. I mean, it will definitely help in us being able to tune up a couple cars, you know, that we'll need to tune for uh, some very good championships where we'll win some really cool cars. Oh, yes, I look forward to it. We'll probably win some of the best cars that we'll ever win. Well, we will. Yeah, no problem with it. No problem at all. It, it is different. And now that I'm focusing, we're definitely doing better. And you see, I already beat my best lap with RX-7. I don't even remember what it was. But uh, let's say how much better we do overall. For the overall time. That'll be interesting to see, I think. See. Yeah, the Viper, man, is much better than this Griffith. Oh, my goodness, it is. 
the Viper just like overkill for this championship. So that will be interesting for you to see, I think. This girl fifth is good too, you know, but the Viper is even that much better. Now, uh, Tunes of the Max, though, the Viper, I wouldn't say is the best car in the game, but the Viper is pretty good, even Tunes to the Max with racing modification. You know, if you have the settings very good on it, because it can otherwise be pretty hard to control. Yeah, looks like we're going to slide through our first race pretty nicely. Of course, we did with the RX-7, too. We're not going to beat the RX-7 by very much. Not by much at all. But three seconds. RX-7 is not a bad car. <laughs> we better hope we do better than three seconds better, though, in the rest of these races. <laughs> or the NSX is going to give us some problems. But I will see you all for the next race. Let's get that started. Since I made a couple of very stupid mistakes, I don't expect that I'll be starting out first on this. I made a couple of very... Wow, I still won? Really? I actually did better on that one. <laughs> Y'all, I really, uh, I actually, I did pretty terrible on that. I actually ended up hitting a wall. Kind of slowed me down a little bit. Um, I didn't hit it going outside of the corner. I hit it going on the inside. And then, and then on that last hairpin, I actually kind of, uh, I almost lost control because uh, my back tires kind of touched the gravel a little bit because I was on the very outside of it, but hey, I will take it. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried it with RX-7. <laughs> no NSX, what do you think you're doing? Get back there. Yeah. car does handle quite well. It really does. Yeah, that's where I missed up last time. I think I hit the inside of that. But hey, still ended up, still ended up working somehow. Now I did a lot better on that last time. I ended up taking it full throttle. We probably will get a pretty good load on this one. This is the one where I could not catch that NSX. Just could not catch it. Well, good Lord have mercy. I cannot drive like that. Yeah, I could not catch that NSX with that RX-7. so difficult. That pretty much went for all the races, though. It was like such a challenge, you know. But I like a challenge. I mean, I don't want it to be too easy. It's kind of stupid. Get off the road there. No, you won't do. Thing is, I try to exit that corner too quickly, which is not a good idea. Oh, yeah, now there we go. That's why I'm talking about. Do you like you didn't make it? <laughs> Except I'm making him a little worse, I think. <laughs> yeah, I still won with that RX-7. I was quite pleased, but uh, could have definitely gone better. Yeah, this car is so, so lightweight, but uh, so powerful. 
It actually weighs about the same amount as like a uh, Honda Del Sol would weigh. Oh yeah, we got some nice little light to build. I like that. Lap's getting better and better. Take that in this six. In the next race we'll be showing off will be special stage route 11. We'll show it off in its entirety. And then when I go with the Viper um, on Club Massage Route 5 and, uh, and they forced more, very more than likely uh, the records will be from the TBR field, not from the RX-7. That's kind of stupid. Oh, Sky, why do you do these things? That cost us a good second, I'm sure. Yeah, good second. Not that it really matters, you know. We pretty much got this in the bag. Drive so much better this way. Well, I say that, and then I do something stupid like that. Golly, okay, 553. How much are we going to beat that by? Woo! 553. By 12 seconds. Lord, eat. It's weird how the fifth lap was my best on this track and on Automarine. Look at that, nine seconds behind. And I beat it by, I beat the arc seven by 12 seconds. So, yeah, that's about how far behind I was from the NSX. About three seconds behind it. Oh, yes, man, that's nice. All right, y'all, so I, I'll see you in a little bit. A special stage of Route 11. Oh, y'all, uh, I completely forgot that I was supposed to start talking on this race here, but uh, as you can see, I'm annihilating them anyway. Uh, really haven't been too much to talk about. Yep, we are kicking their little butts. Uh, my fastest, my first lap was 2.13, which was uh, not too far from the best lap that I got with RX-7. And it would be interesting to see how well we're doing this. Yeah, on uh, Deep Forest and on Clubman stage, I beat the record of the RX-7 by like, uh, I think I beat it by 14 seconds on Clubman stage, and I think I beat it by 20 seconds on, on Deep Forest. Which is pretty astounding, you know, really. 20 seconds and 5 laps is like 4 seconds better per lap. <laughs> oh man, and I don't know if the Viper will be much better or not. I know it's better, but uh, that's pretty darn good, you know. <laughs> yeah, the Viper's definitely better. You say the record of 11 minutes and one second there. Yeah, 203, that's five and a half seconds better than what I got with the uh, RX-7. Which is pretty great. Yeah, they really just have not put up much of a fight. Uh, since Autumn Ring Mini and Green Valley East, they really haven't done, uh, done much of anything. I've killed them. Uh, this is pretty much how it's been going. I don't know if it's that I do better when I'm not recording or if I do better or if I'm just generally better at this track. So I don't know.
Grand Valley really, uh, I mean not Grand Valley, but Autumn Marine. Since it was such a small track, you know, and the straightaway was, the beginning straightaway was so short, the art would be a, the NSX uh, had plenty of time to pass it you know, before the first curve, so that's probably why they had. And I just had to work on passing the bag. You can definitely tell this car even shining like it was, you know. It's one thing, you know, about doing these long races, you definitely Oh let's just let's just take a spin, why don't we? Oh. Yeah. Probably would not have happened if I hadn't been doing all that. Oh well we had time to do it. <laughs> I guess I could say what time I would have finished by seeing how much worse this lap will be. That probably cost me at least five or six seconds, I guess. Oh yeah, Lord, I would have already been finished. Yeah, at least. Y'all, late. Nine seconds, eight and a half seconds. That's what that one little spin cost me. <laughs> eight and a half seconds. So we'll take that into consideration whenever I reach the finish. A lot of times I get racist on these long races like this. And uh, kind of get a little too relaxed. Get a good work to finish. You know. I do like endurance races though, because I like seeing how many times I can overlap the computers. Anybody else like to do that? It's always fun. We're doing pretty good so far. We've recovered. They still probably will not finish. <laughs> they didn't really catch me quite a bit though, was that. Oh golly, let's not do it again, please. I don't know what's going on with me there. I really probably should have uh, slowed down a little bit before entering that curve, you know, to keep my car more balanced. It's hard to get a little tired. I wanted to do a couple more videos during this recording, but I don't know if I'll get it or not today. It is 1.46 in the morning, I probably should call, give it a rest after this part. Oh yeah, that was much better there. Look at that. It's nine and a half seconds better. Yeah, I think with the Viper we'll actually be able to break two minutes. I remember it correctly. It seems like I have in the past. Now, whether I will tonight, I think it's what I'm Man, we are just slaughtering, my goodness. Haters don't know what to it. <laughs> Look at those last two. The NSX, the uh, TRD, which is just like a super. It's like a, it's like a super version of the super. Man, that Impreza and R33 GTR are way behind the two four-wheel drive cars. I never messed up on that chicane one time, I'm surprised. Usually I mess up at least once. <laughs> There's always the time with the Viper, though. I wonder how many seconds they're behind. They may actually finish because they mess up I had. Surely 
I went screwed. <laughs> I can't hardly drive at this speed though. But I'm doing it. Alright y'all, this is it. So 1101 was the record. Y'all lay 1101. Woo! And we beat that by 25 seconds. Really, it would have been like 33 seconds if I didn't screw up <laughs> on that third lap. Are they gonna finish? Nope. I think they still had a ways to go. Oh, there wasn't even an appraiser here. Well, then appraiser would have been behind me. Have been here. The four wheel drives for some reason don't do as well on that track. At least normal car championship. Alright, so we're gonna get our big bonus, then we're gonna buy us a buy. Oh yes. And we'll still have even after we buy the Viper and we win that championship again, we should have around seven hundred thousand credits, which will be very good. Have almost 700,000. I wonder what we won from that, though. Let's see what we won. Another Supra. This time it is an orange color. I actually think this car looks better this color than that green. Even though I like the green color better, uh, seems like this car just looks better with this color. We're going to sell it because we don't need another one. Do not need another one. Alrighty, let's buy the Viper. Alright, should I get the RT-10 or the GTS? Well, we'll actually see the GTS in the... in the, um, shoot. International A license, so... I think I'm gonna go with the RT-10. Uh, 3,187 3, pounds. And this one is... 3,240. So the RT-10 is actually a little bit lighter. And I love the blue with the racing stripes. I hate that they uh, didn't keep that color. It seems like they kind of did away with it. I love that blue. though, so pretty. So relaxing. Alright, let's see what this baby can do, y'all. I'll see you at Clubman Stage Route 5. And, uh... Well, actually, I may just show you, um how I do at the end of each race so you can see the time difference between the Griffith and this. I think that's what I might do. Alright y'all, I forgot just how superb the uh, Viper's handling is. It's just, it seems like it already has really, really good uh, tires on it. You know, I mean, I mean like, it's as good as the TVR and the ARC-7 shined this is just so much brighter. I mean, the handling is just... Well, and you say uh, the record got shattered there, 259, what was it, 314 or something? I don't even remember. I killed it, though, whatever it was. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I, I, I know the Viper was good, but dang, I forgot it was that good. I mean, it just... It's just amazing. It just amazed me. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Let's see how we do on Grand Valley. Let's see what kind of lead we develop there. Alrighty, y'all, we're almost done with this last lap here, and the uh, record's 541, and if I had another lap, uh, I probably would overlap them. But, uh, I actually did, uh, I had a couple bad laps, like, just like I just did there, and I still ended up doing quite well. Uh, my second and third lap actually weren't that good, but they weren't really much worse than my best. But yeah, still, that's 16 to 17 seconds better. And then the Griffith. So, wow. <laughs> wow, indeed. Alrighty, y'all. Here we go with our race at Clubman Stage Route 5. And, uh, oh, man, they just they just can't hardly hold up to this. Of course, the NSX does have really good acceleration. But, uh, but yeah, he actually passed me on the last one, I think, for you know, about a third of a second. But, oh, man, this Viper is just... It's even better than it's even better than I imagined. Yep, it is good. Definitely the best normal car in this game now. 
granted, when you're toning it up, I think it'll get up to like 650, 680 horsepower, somewhere around there, which is pretty good. Uh, and it still handles like a dream as long as you can control it, you know. Especially if you increase the downforce so that it controls better. You know, so that it kind of sticks to the road a little better and doesn't want to spin out. Increasing downforce is definitely a good thing to do. And I don't know what that was about, but uh, okay. <laughs> so let's see how we do against our record here, 425. That we got with the good kid. I don't remember what I got with the RX-7, but you could always go back and watch and see, and I probably will just add curiosity. And I really don't even do my best with uh, this view, but uh, I still think we're doing good enough anyway. So might as well show this beautiful car off, man. It is a beauty. Dodge did a good job making this thing, man, for sure. I'm not as crazy about the brand new Vipers, like the ones in Grand Turismo 6, the 2013-2014 uh, models. I kind of do like them. I like that they can, you know, brought it back after its hiatus, you know. Because there for a few years, they didn't even make Vipers anymore, which was sad. Okay, I don't know why I'm hitting the walls. Kind of sucks. I actually uh, not even getting my best lap. I actually got a 51 with that Griffith. I was really doing well on this track though with that Griffith. The thing about this Viper though is kind of strange. With every other normal car in this game, the uh, it you really have to be careful with the controls, you know, because it. I mean, it just. This just controlled so much better. It's like it already, like I said, has different tires on it. Not, you know. Yeah, so there we go. We're finally beat the computer on the lap. And all honestly, I haven't been getting very good laps with this. Yeah, this thing handles like a dream. Now, when it comes to tuning up, though, uh, there are many other cars that, even though this does tune up quite reasonably, there are many other cars that will definitely give it a run for its money, or, or even surpass it, actually. I mean, this is just my opinion and all, but I would say that uh, the Nissan Skyline GTR is probably better than this, you know, when tuning all the way to the max. And even the Super RZ probably would be. I'm not going to bait that Griffith by much on this one. I was really getting down, though. Of course, that's when I also wasn't talking. <laughs> I really think I do do better whenever I'm not talking. I'm not, you know, focusing solely on my driving, you know. Oh, that looks pretty good. I was actually getting down with the fifth on this one. Yeah, see, if we had a couple more laps, man, we would overlap them suckers, wouldn't we? Overlap the Lancer, anyway. Poor little Lancer. Yeah, golly, we didn't shatter a record there. We beat it by four seconds, though. But golly, my last lap was considerably better than any other one. Uh, the Impreza beat the TRD 3000. What? That's kind of funny. <laughs> the RX-7 beat it too. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Alrighty, I'll see you on Deep Forest. Alrighty, here we are on Deep Forest. Let's see how we do on this one. This was another one where I just killed on what the fifth. I think I beat the RX-7's record by 20 seconds. So let's see uh, what we do this time. I did not even try to qualify on this one. Just one thing, I'm tired, and this is a longer track anyway. So. But after this, uh, we should have 750,000 credits to really buy stuff with. And we may not really need to farm anymore. 
At least I'm hoping we won't need to. I'm not expecting it here. Because in all honesty, uh, really, there won't be too many more championships to really do. I may need to farm though, because I actually would like to show off one of the special models that are kind of bragged on the Impreza Rally Edition. But I may not. I don't know. Because there are other really, really good special models that will be winning from some upcoming championships. And they're really good. Uh, just as good, if not better, than the uh, Impreza Rally Edition. Now, the thing about the Japanese versus American and uh, UK versus USA and you know those um, you actually will want to do those you can actually get two different rewards so I'll definitely be doing those all twice at least at least because they might give me the same same reward each time so I you know I have to do them however many times it takes till I get uh, all the car rewards because they give you some really good rewards for those so that's obviously something I'd be doing off screen, you know, the second of these, anyway, second, however many it takes. The first I'll definitely be showing. That'll also be more credits, you know. That's something I'll have to do several times. I could also do like the FF challenge and the full drive challenge. I could do those all twice too, but I'm not going to. Because the rewards on, the, you know, they do give you two different rewards on those as well, but. It's just not as good, so really not any need to do that. Yeah, that's the thing about playing this game as much as I did as a kid, man. I know it inside and out. I know everything there is to know about this game. At least I think I do. I can't say that about many games, but a lot of games I utterly suck at, but uh, I think I'm pretty decent at this one. And I know it. Yeah, we're definitely beating the Grafitis, but not by much. Because I think its record was 117. We got a 115. Come on, back. Yeah, this track can be very treacherous backwards. Because those little walls right there you can hit. Oh, that make you have a bad day. I remember I did that so many times as a kid and I ended up losing the race, man. Even when I'd have this Viper, I remember I did it in the past. And uh, I would still be able to win, you know, because obviously how good it is. But uh, made the race more interesting. For sure. Driving the speed, why not? 114 is pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, this car is such a beast, man. Handles so well, too. Just amazing. Yeah, and when you win this thing in arcade mode, when you win Dodge, it's like. And when I do arcade mode, I will try to show off different cars that we didn't see. I probably will not use this car really anymore in simulation mode, sadly. I know it is awesome at all. I mean, I may, uh, just let me know in the comments what you want me to do. If you don't mind me redoing some championships on screen, then I'm all for that, because I love this kind of thing. Really. But, uh, I'm also all for not, you know, not showing them, not doing extra, you know, on screen. Unless y'all just want me to show it. Because uh, there's also Gran Turismo 2 that awaits us. You know, the quicker we get done with this one, the quicker we can get on the 2 and then be on. Because, oh man, I can't wait to get to 4. Oh, y'all know I've said it many times. That is my favorite series. I love them all, though, don't get me wrong. I even love 3. But uh, 4 definitely is, has a special place in my heart. Silly as that sounds. So, I am silly, though. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> oh, Sky. But yeah, if you'd want, you know, if you want, you know, leave in the comments if there's something you would like me to show on screen. That, uh, 
you know, if you want me to do a particular championship with a particular car, uh, let me know about that. And I will do it. Even if it's something that I probably would lose, you know, if it's something you really want to see. Um, I mean, go ahead and throw it at me. I might. Oh, gosh. I just did that. That thing that I talked about. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, go ahead and throw it at me, like I said, and uh, I'll consider it. I may not necessarily do it, but I'll definitely consider it. We're almost finished with this. Yeah, that last uh, little that little accident kind of really messed us up. A little, not bad. It only cost us five seconds. That wasn't too bad. So what was the previous record? 634 or something? Anyway, I know we beat it. Not by too much, though. Oh, the RX-7 passed the Impreza at the last second. Did you look at that? That Impreza was putting up a fire, wasn't it? <laughs> all righty y'all so i will see you near the end of the last lap of the special stage ride 11 so all right my friends uh i finally managed to hit that chicane <laughs> so uh this lap isn't gonna be all that good but uh but yeah we still ended up killing them as you can tell what's really cool about this track is uh you can actually end up seeing um, the other the other cars, you know, if you're lined up just right, you know, if you're in the right positions. So I th think that's pretty cool, and I'm sure we'll uh, be able to see that really well on the endurance race of this track. I think that'll be pretty neat to see. But uh, we would have come close to breaking 10 minutes if I didn't screw up on that that last lap because uh. Every lap was a uh, right under two minutes except the first one. So yeah, oh golly, that that slowed me down like 10 seconds. But we still beat the Griffith by 21 seconds. Wow. Even as bad as that last lap was. <laughs> so yeah, the Viper is indeed a beast. To be, it's a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> and they had no hope of finishing. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this this part. And uh, in the next part, we will be doing the Japanese versus American. I know I said that last time, but I promise it this time. Sorry. We did need to get some money, though. So, I hope this uh, didn't bore you too much, showing all this extra stuff. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool to show those two cars off, even though we will be seeing them in the license test. Um I thought it's cool to actually see them against other cars, you know, and just how much uh, superior they are. All right, so uh, hope you enjoyed this. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you did. And uh, let's see what we want here. Another Supra. Man, they want me to have some Supras. The exact same color that I already got, so why should I keep this? <laughs> let's sell it. Alright, so thank y'all very much for watching, my friends, and uh, God bless, and as always, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.